Hello, Matt here from chemistrystudent.com. In this video, we're going to look at ligand substitution and entropy change. We're going to talk about what the chelate effect is and how the entropy of a system can change when ligand substitution reactions occur. Complex ions and ligand substitution have been covered in separate videos. Check the links in the description below. Before we talk in detail about the Keylet effect, there are a few essential ideas you need to be comfortable with. Ligands are species that use a lone pair of electrons to form a coordinate bond to a central metal ion, forming a complex ion. Complex ions are made up of a central metal ion that is coordinately bonded to ligands. The overall charge of a complex ion is determined by the charge of the metal ion in it and the charges of the ligands bonded to the metal ion. Their formulas are written in square brackets. The coordination number of a complex ion refers to the number of coordinate bonds there are to the central metal ion. As a simple definition, entropy is described as being a measure of disorder and is represented with a capital S. The total entropy of the universe will always increase as a result of a reaction or process. The greater the potential disorder of a system, the greater its entropy. This means the greater the number of free particles or species within a system, the higher its entropy. Recap done? Let's go! The ligands in a complex ion can be swapped or substituted with other ligands in what are called ligand substitution reactions. Most ligands can only form one coordinate bond to a metal ion, and these are described as monodentate ligands. Some, however, can form more than this. Ligands that can form two coordinate bonds are described as bidentate ligands, and ligands that can form more than two are described as multidentate ligands. When monodentate and bidentate ligands are substituted for each other, the coordination number of a complex ion may remain the same, however the number of ligands changes. This changing in the number of ligands means large entropy changes delta S, can occur when bidentate or multidentate ligands end up being substituted into a complex ion. For example, if the aqua complex ion CuH206 2 plus undergoes ligand substitution with bidentate ethane dioate ions, the complex ion CuC2043 minus gets formed. The C2043 part of the formula tells us that there are three C2 O4 ligands in the complex. There are now only three C2O4 ligands compared to the starting six ligands of water molecules. There are a total of four reactant particles on the left and a total of seven product particles on the right. The whole complex ion counts as one particle as everything in it is bonded together. It's effectively just one large ion. The ligands in it are fixed in place and can't move independently. A change in 4 to 7 particles means an increase in entropy for the system, as the potential disorder increases if there are more particles present. <laughs> if unsure about why, check the video on entropy, link in the description below. The large positive entropy changes associated with bidentate and multidentate ligand substitutions increases the feasibility of them occurring, and this leads to what is called the chelate effect, a tendency for bidentate and multidentate ligands to be substituted into complex ions and replace monodentate ligands, giving stable and relatively unreactive complexes. Sometimes the chelate effect can be very large, especially with multidentate ligands such as EDTA. Molecules of EDTA can form six coordinate bonds to a metal ion. When EDTA is substituted into a complex ion, only one EDTA molecule will bond to the metal ion, meaning all other ligands get removed and replaced with only one ligand. For example, CuH20622 can undergo ligand substitution with EDTA4-, releasing six water molecules in the process. The entropy change, delta S, is very large, 
two particles at the start end up as seven particles at the end. This chelate effect means complexes of EDTA are very stable and unreactive. As a result, EDTA is often used to help remove toxic metal ions and heavy metal ions from solutions. So, to summarize, ligands bonded to a central metal ion in a complex can be substituted with other ligands in what are called ligand substitution reactions. When monodentate and bidentate ligands are substituted for each other, the coordination number of the complex ion may remain the same, however the number of ligands changes. And this means a positive change in entropy, delta S, can occur. For example, with hexa-aqua complex ions, there are four reagent species, the complex ion and free bidentate ligands, and there are seven product particles, the complex ion and six water molecules. A change from four to seven particles means an increase in entropy. This increase in entropy is a contributory factor to the increased chances of substitution reactions with bidentate and multidentate ligands occurring, and is described as the chelate effect a tendency for bidentate and multidentate ligands to be substituted into complex ions and replace monodentate ligands, forming complex ions with a relatively high stability. Multidentate ligands that are able to form more than two coordinate bonds to a metal ion tend to form unreactive and stable complexes due to the chelate effect. EDTA is a multidentate ligand that can form six coordinate bonds to a metal ion. The chelate effect means complexes of EDTA are very stable and unreactive. As a result, EDTA is used to help remove toxic metal ions and heavy metal ions from solutions. I hope you found this video useful. Please check out other relevant videos in the links given in the description below and visit chemistrystudent.com for free notes and revision materials.